Paradise Wind Farm is located near Aglish in County Waterford. We're approximately 12 kilometres west of Dungarvan. It consists of eight wind turbines, two and a half megawatts each, with an installed capacity of 20 megawatts. We are approximately 70% completed on the civil works on site. We are substantially complete on the site access tracks and the crane hard stands. This wind farm is particularly suitable for grid connection as we have the 110 kV line running directly overhead. This turbine base behind me is the last of eight turbine bases to be poured. Construction of the wind turbine foundations consists of first excavation down to competent bearing stratum. Then we would pour 100 millimetres of uh, concrete blinding. That's to give us a level platform to work on. Then we set out for the steel fixers and they construct the steel reinforcement. Then we shudder around the outside of the steel reinforcement and we pour our concrete into the foundation. Our turbine foundations are 18 metre diameter. The pour will consist of 440 cubic metres of concrete and approximately 40 tonnes of steel. The concrete pour for the foundation is carried out in one continuous pour. It takes approximately 9 or 10 hours. We pour the 440 cubic metres of concrete in one continuous go to avoid any cold joints or any weak planes in the concrete. After the first pour is complete, we place thermal insulation around the concrete foundation to control the curing process and ensure the concrete temperature differentials do not exceed the allowable limits. We monitor the internal temperature of the concrete with pre-installed thermocouples. About a week after the base pour, we set up the shutters for the second part of the foundation, which is called a pedestal, and is effectively a cylinder of 42 cubic metres of reinforced concrete. The pedestal is the only part of the foundation which is visible after the foundation is backfilled. Protruding from the top of the pedestal are the anchor bolts onto which we drop the wind turbine tower section. The substation construction was on the critical path from a scheduling point of view and as soon as the civil contractor arrived on site in mid-2013 they began the substation bulk excavation. Approximately 40,000 cubic metres of soil and rock were excavated to reach formation level and in the southeast corner of the site the substation ground level is now approximately 11.5 metres below original ground level. All of the excavated material was reused on site either as fill material or crushed and used as capping for the access tracks and hard stands. After the bulk excavation was completed, the main electrical contractor constructed the substation infrastructure. Here you can see the structural steelwork and HV equipment being placed in position by the teleporter. The 25 MVA transformer was supplied by Tamini in Italy. The transformer weighed 32 tonnes before being filled with transformer oil. The transformer is designed to step up the voltage from the wind farm voltage of 20 kV to 110 kV where the electricity is then sent over the fence via buzz bars into the ESB network side of the substation and out onto the national grid. All of the Nordex wind turbine components were transported from Bellevue Port in Waterford along a council approved transport route. Trial runs were carried out before the first component delivery to ensure no further public road modification works or site works were required. Components left the port with a police escort at around 2.30am 
and would arrive on site before dawn to ensure minimum disturbance to the local road users. Most of the components would then be placed on the hard stands, ready for lifting. The wind turbine erection phase began as soon as the main 500 tonne crane and the 300 tonne assist crane arrived on site. The wind turbine tower has four sections and both cranes are required to lift each tower section off the ground. The assist crane then detaches once the tower section is vertical. The 50 tonne nacelle is then lifted by the main crane followed by the 42 tonne drivetrain which is dropped in through the open roof of the nacelle. Next the hub is fitted followed by the three blades which requires a tandem lift and is the most technically difficult lift of the turbine assembly. The erection phase of the eight turbines at Woodhouse Wind Farm took four and a half weeks to complete, which was a considerable achievement. The Woodhouse Wind Farm project is on schedule to date and we hope to be exporting electricity early 2015 and the wind farm will produce 20 megawatts which is enough to power up to 10,000 homes.